Good morning, world. Um, got a cat down here. Oh, there he goes. Uh, they don't. They, they don't know. They, there's a red light that says recording, and the cat just takes no notice of it whatsoever. Um, anyway, I got invited to a fancy dress party on Saturday, and. Um, I don't usually go to things like that and it was in this bar downtown where they've got they've got the bar and they've got this function room at the back where they do things like that and I didn't know what to, to dress up so I I looked at some of the, the like the grandkids things because they're always going to them and I picked up uh, this hot dog suit which is quite good I got into it and it's a proper hot dog Sausage in a bun and arm sticking out, a stripe of ketchup and a stripe of mustard. And I went off to the fancy dress party. And uh, I get there and I open the function room door and it's not ready yet. They're, they're still setting up the disco and there's nobody there. So I thought, well, I'll wait in the bar then. So I go into the bar. And I said to the barman, I said, could I have a, a pint of your best beer, please? And he said, sorry, sir, we don't serve food in here. <laughs> They're the best, aren't they? Anyway, in, when I was working, our company, um, it had its own, like, internet group. It was, it was, it was like a Facebook group, but on the company site and if you wanted to look at things that were going on uh, you know for those that were, those were that sad <clears throat> um, and uh, one day my manager came out and he said look at this Frank and, and, and it was a it was a group of uh, engineers from further south and there'd been a lot of storms and they'd been doing a lot of overtime and everything, getting getting everybody's phone lines working again and all this lot. And they did this, like, rap song. And um, it was a... Uh, I mean, I, I like I like some rap songs, you know. I'm not, I'm not anti any kind of music, but it's not my favourite thing. But when, um, when you've got people dressed up in their company uniforms and... Pre trying to be all, all rappy, singing songs about work, singing songs about how good they were at getting the jobs done and that. And um, I know, I know. And uh, oh, it, it was cringeworthy, to be honest. And um, my manager loved it, because it was like, he said, this is a mor morale booster. <laughs> and uh, I thought, yeah. Yeah, a morale booster. You know, I couldn't think of anything worse. And um, he said, you play the guitar. Why don't you write a song? Why don't you write a song for the, for the, for the group and we'll post it? And I said, yeah, all right. And the cat's fell off now. So I said, OK, yeah. Anyway, so this is the, this is the song I came up with for him. So this is the, uh, was my morale booster. It's called The Company. He toils all day for a pittance of pay. He's working for the company. He wished it wasn't so, but it's hard, you know, when you've got mouths to feed. Blood, sweat and tears For forty years A lifetime boy, it's a man He works a little harder For a bigger reward Believe that if you can Believe that if you can You talk that barge And you lift that bail if only it was that easy They got a fire in the hole And they shovel in coal Working for the company The home bell rings And everybody sings They're all running down the streets He gets a little dinner Then he falls into bed And drifts off into sleep of a fairground by the sea 
the carousel is spinning round The air is fresh And his skin is clean As he listens to the ocean The alarm bell rings, takes him out of the dream Toast and a mug of tea He runs to the gate, he mustn't be late When he's working for the company He's working for the company He'll die working for the company Anyway, he said, uh, thank you very much, Frank. I won't ask you again. <laughs> morale boosters. The, the best morale booster is like a pay rise, but they don't seem to know that. Uh, never mind. Anyway, see you all later. Bye.